So AppPressor works great with podcasts, and I'm going to show you in this video how to integrate podcasts into your app. I'm going to use the Blueberry PowerPress plugin as an example, but this uh, same method will work for most podcast plugins. So this is an example of a, an app that already has a sort of a customized version of our podcasting enabled. And people can scroll through, click on one of these podcasts and listen to it. They can also download it for offline use. So I'm going to show you how to get that all set up in your app. So the first thing I did is I created a couple of posts using the Blueberry Podcast plugin. I uploaded some media and you'll see that they automatically add the podcast player below each post. So I can go into these posts and play the podcast. And this, I used a music file. Um, but you can add your podcast file, like MP3, M4A, whatever it is. And the way that um, Blueberry works is you actually add in your media URL and, you know, do some settings for Blueberry and it, it will automatically show up. So when you're integrating AppPressor, um, you need to do a couple other things. So first go to the AppPressor settings. And then we're going to choose under media settings, we're going to choose media post types and we're going to choose which post type we're using. So in our case, we're using posts and we're for podcasts, we're just giving it a specific category. We're not actually using a custom post type. If you are using a custom post type, then you would select that custom post type here so that um, that adds the necessary custom field that we use for the app. So, so go ahead and save that and then go back to your post. So uh, once you're in your post, you're going to visit your settings and you're going to, uh, so let's pretend that that wasn't there. So I'm going to click to, to modify the existing podcast episode because what I want to get is this URL that I added to my source media file. Um, and uh, all I'm going to do is go down to the AppPressor media URL, Metabox, and I'm going to copy that in and update that post. Um, and what that's going to do is add the media URL to our uh, API. And that's what the app uses to actually pull in the podcast file and allow people to download it, play it, and, and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to go into my other one and do the same thing going to make sure that there's a media URL. So the podcast will not show up in your app unless it has this media URL here. So make sure that that's in there. So if you have a bunch of podcasts and you don't want to do this manually, I'll show you at the end, uh, we have a snippet of code that will do this automatically for you. So um, I have my podcast here. I have my media URL saved. And then now the next thing to do is to go to my app and I'm going to create a new custom page. I'm going to click Media Downloads, and I'm gonna give this a title of Podcast or whatever you want. In the API route, what we're gonna do is just give a, the endpoint to whatever post type you have. So in our case, it is just a normal uh, post endpoint. And then uh, at the end, so if, if you were using a podcast or something like that, you know, you'd put, you'd click podcast or whatever the endpoint is for your custom post type. Keep in mind that custom post types are not always in the API automatically. Um, we do have other, uh, we do have other documentation that show you how to get that in. It's, it's very easy, but just make sure that you know that that's not in there automatically. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually using a category. So I need to tell that to my app that this is the category I'm using. So what I'm going to do is go into my WordPress site and click on categories, and then I need to get the category ID. So to do that, I am going to find my category. This works the same way for tags, by the way. And I am going to click on edit. And then in the address bar up at the top, you'll see that there's something that says tag ID and um, I have an ID here of 238. So what I'm gonna do is go here, put in a URL parameter, categories equals 238. 
Um, you would do the same with tags, but you would use uh, tag instead. And we do have uh, help for how you find these endpoints and categories and things like that and um, in our documentation. So you can choose whether you want to allow downloads. You can choose to change the icon um, or you can, you can choose to show the featured image instead. And you can also add this to the menu. So in my case, I'm going to add this to my menu and then I'm going to save and refresh the preview. So once the preview is refreshed, I can visit the menu, click on my podcasting link, and then you'll see that I have my two podcasts here. I can click on these and it will play them. And if I was allowing downloads, it would also show a download link. So um, I want to kind of make this look a little bit better. So there's a couple things that I can do. Let's see if I find this. Um, if I find my custom selector, I'm going to actually add some CSS here. I want to make it this a little bit bigger. Sort of fill that out a little bit better. There we go. And you can also add, uh, you know, the date, featured image, things like that. You can add custom data through our um, through our template hooks, if you look it up in our documentation. So, but this is uh, this is, is is on its way to being a great podcasting page. So, uh, the next thing that you might want to do is add the media URL programmatically. So, let's say you have you know a hundred podcasts and you don't want to go in and manually copy and paste the uh, you know the media URL from your podcast plugin to the um, actual field. So you can, uh, there's a, there's a uh, gist that I have on GitHub that you can use to uh, copy this over. So basically this is going to loop through all of your posts and you can change the, the post type to whatever it needs to be. And then it will get your post meta and it will add that automatically to the correct post meta that we need for the app. Um, so to do that, uh, you just need to know the meta key for your particular plugin. In this case, we're using the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. Is uh, Their meta is audiophile. For the Blueberry plugin, um, I would have to look up in their documentation. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you just find out what that is, replace that. And then in this case, we're not using the podcast post type, so we would just use post there and that would automatically run this. So you would only run this one time and it'll automatically do it and then you remove that code from your site. So if you need um, help with this, go ahead and you can look up in our documentation at docs.appressor.com, just look up podcasting. Um, but that is how to set up podcasting in an Appressor app.